All okay. Right. All right. So I'll leave you to okay. it. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you too. All right. Okay. Um, let me share my slide. I'll share my screen. Okay. Can you all see my screen? Yes, we can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm so sorry about last week. So I I had a meeting scheduled, unable to like make um, this session. So I I really apologize for that. Uh, and also, this is my first time doing this. So a little bit nervous because I'm speaking to um, amazing developers. So please bear with me if I'm you know, struggling to like um, be clear on what I'm talking about. And if you have any questions, just um, let me know. You can type on the, in the chat and then I'll respond after the um, presentation. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, all right. So, um, so I spoke to Shay last two weeks or three weeks thereabouts, and she told me that um, you guys have started um, React and um, React and Redux. So, so I, I think um, since you guys already like have said something with that, maybe I could like give like a brief intro into um, React Oaks. So it's, it's, we have one hour for this session. So I'll, I'll really try to cover some basics about React Oaks, okay? Um, so, okay, um, my, my name is Blessing, Blessing on Resume, and um, I'm a software developer at um, Unibet. Uh, Unibet is a gambling company in Sweden, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, gambling or gaming company in Sweden. So, um, I, was, I was formerly at Andela, until July um, this year, before relocating to Sweden, and then you can also you can find me on Twitter, you know, LinkedIn. You just message me, and I would definitely respond. Okay. Okay. So what we will cover um, in this um, session? Um, so we'll, we'll talk about um, um, React why React is important. And then we also would like um, give like some, talk about some major difference between components or class-based um, components and uh, function-based components. And then we'll do some, some uh, we'll talk about some of the React Oops methods. Um, because of the time, we might not uh, cover most of it, but basically we'll definitely cover like uh, most of the popular ones that you see, and then you can um, use it in the project. And then we we'll also like talk about benefits of um, React Oaks, and then the two major rules of React Oaks. Um, so my, my intention for this presentation was to like have a mob session, like a peer programming session for this um, for for this session for this training, so I don't know because because of the time and I don't know how many people are like are like on online. So I'm here for online. Can you hear me? We're about six. Sorry. Thirteen people online. Oh, that's it. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Um, so, anyway, I think maybe we would um, skip this mob session. Basically, I'll be the one um, coding. But this tool, Mobster, is a good tool to have. Um, maybe when you're like pair program with your colleagues and collaborating on projects, so you can um, download it and you know see how to use it 
So it will really help you a lot. Okay. So um, at the end of the, uh, the session, I, I would love for us to like um, build like uh, a to-do to -do list application with React Hooks. Um, I'm sure she had shared uh, my slides with you. So I already have like the to-do list um, Redux version on GitHub. So you can go ahead and clone it and just take a look at it. it it's very, very simple. So we'll just try to replicate what we have uh, using React Hooks. Okay, so this is like this, this simple um, to-do list. Um, this is what we currently have for the, that's the Redux version and we'll try to replicate it using um, React Hooks. Okay, um, so why um, React? Um, I, I'm sure that you all know that um, React is a, is a um, JS library and um, what it does is it helps us or it makes it super easy for us to like build um, user interfaces, right? And also React is very popular because of the um, huge ecosystem for it. And also we have like a React Native that allows you to build, for, um, build uh, mobile applications for um, all, for both Android and iOS. So React is um, quite popular. Now, when, when I think about React, um, three things come to, to mind. Uh, basically, the first one is component. I mean, React is all about components, you know, different um, UI parts of your application. I'm sure when you started like learning React, you would have come across um, how to split your complex components into smaller components, right? So basically, React is all about um, components. And then the advantages of um, having or breaking down your React, React into components is that it's in, into smaller components is that it's, um, it's easy to like um, reuse this component. And it also makes it easy to like um, test the component. And the second one is only DOM uh, interactions. So I, I remember the first time, um, the first calculator I built with um, just vanilla JS, HTML and CSS. And, um, and I needed to like, um, to like have access to um, the elements in order to change them, the HTML elements in order to change them. And basically I was mostly doing stuff like um, document or get element by ID and stuff like that. So when I learned React, <laughs> I had to re-implement the calculator again using just React and it was super, super easy, less stressful. Um, I mean, when I did, when I, when I built the project with just vanilla JS, even though it was a, a very small application, a calculator, very, very small, you wouldn't have known that um, performance is, is really slow because it's very small compared to, um, bigger applications like um, Facebook and, and you know, YouTube or any video or video applications, right? So um, when, when, when you're interacting with the DOM, most of the time it sort of like um, slows down um, performance. And what RAT is doing is, is making it, uh, is solving that problem by making it easy for you to like, um, for you to like um, have access to DOM and sort of like um, reduce most of the DOM op, um, operations that you, know, you normally do with vanilla JS. And then the last one is flexibility. Now React, we all know is very, very, is, like it's not opinionated. Like I'm sure that you've seen like lots of tutorials on React and, and basically each, each, each person has like different ways of implementing maybe a to-do list application or you know, whatever simple application they are trying to like um, write about or blog about. So it, it's not opinionated. Um, you can use other JavaScript libraries with it. You can use um, other state management libraries with it. So yeah, that is React for you.
Um, so if you have any question, you can just like stop me because I don't know, I can't see the Zoom chat until I scroll to it. So, so yeah. Um, so th this, so now we're going to talk about class-based versus fun uh, function-based component. Um, I'm, I'm sure that most of you have come across, uh, maybe when you're like building your, your project or your applications, and then maybe you have like a function function based component, and then all of a sudden you realize that you need to like manage state in this particular component, and then you have to like do all the unnecessary changes of uh, making it a class based component in order to use um, state. So that is one of the that is one of the um, things that um, React Oak is trying to React Oak is trying to like solve. So um, I mean, before now, before function function based company became powerful, we used to say that um, function based components are are used for presentational, are used for I are mostly called presentational components, while containers are like smart components. Or you can simply say that um, function based components are stateless and class based components are stateful components. But right now, um, function-based components are becoming um, powerful and more uh, smarter or more smart. So here is um, here is just like a, a, an example of how class-based components is. Um, basically, you could see that they make use of um, classes. And then it also it also has some uh, a life cycle method like render and although although we have other life cycle methods I'm sure you already know that. So um, yeah, is yeah is an example of a function based component is is basically JavaScript fun function. Um, so it it does not have um, any life cycle um, method. And then you can see that um, this one has, has a, a, a hook called use state, which we'll talk more, talk more about um, in, you know, in the slides. Okay, um, so major differences between, um, major differences. So I, I forgot to mention that, um, for class-based components, um, they make they have this dot state in order for them to like uh, manage um, state in the component. But for functional-based components, they make use of uh, use state. So um, the second one, since function-based components don't have access to lifecycle hooks or lifecycle methods, they use what we call um, use effect to be able to like. Um, Make some API call like a, like um, like um, side effects where you make like HTTP requests and, and all that. So use effects sort of like act like a component did mount. Oh, okay. Um, so React hooks. So React hooks are functions that can only be accessed in um, React version 16.8. So if, if you want to make use of React Oops, you need to like um, make, you need to use the, um, the, version, the React version of 6.8 upwards in order for you to like have access to the React Oops method and, and all. And like I said, um, func function based components are now powerful with uh, React Oops and it sort of like allows you to focus more on one thing on one particular component. Um, before be, before before React Oaks, when you want to like um, manage states in a function, you have to like pass down the not, not manage states in a function, but if you want to like um, provide data to a function based component, you have to pass it down from a class based component down as as props down to um, down to the function-based component. So with the with the with with React hooks, it's like makes it easier for the for 
the function based component to like manage um, states internally. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that we would um, we'll just talk about some of the um, popular or some of the most used uh, hooks. Um, so the first one is uh, use state. So like I said, use state is sort of like equivalent to um, this the state, uh, which you which we use in class based component. So I'm sure that okay, I made a mistake <laughs> with the naming. The the first letter should be in a, 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 should be a, a lowercase. So the naming is just like a rule developed by the people that wrote React or the creators of uh, React. So even though you can call it anything, but it's just for you to follow the rule. So basically, you have use then whatever your um, your method is doing. Um, so when you when you are using um, use state, um, so you can see in this function example, use state is initialized with um, um, zero, and it always always returns two elements in an array, right? So it always returns two elements in an array. So the the first element is usually the current. Um, the current state um, snapshot. Yeah, the current state snap, snapshot. And um, the set count is sort of a, is, a, is a method that updates the state to, to the current state. So, um, so use state can be initialized with, uh, you know, either string, you know, number, null, um, empty string, whatever object, whatever um, you want your initial state to be. Um, so the next one is use effect. Um, remember I said um, um, class-based components have have life cycle methods, and if you want to like do like uh, perform an HTTP request like it's like you know their call side effect you would do that in a component did mount right but function based component don't have um don't have a life cycle method so instead you use um use effect so you use effect allows you to like uh, make HTTP requests do some dumb um man manipulations Okay. Now use reducer. So because it's a function based component, uh, basically we are not going to be using any uh, redux. And then uh, I'm sure you like you you guys have been doing um, you guys have said like working with uh, redux and you know the flow of data from the component to actions and to the reducers and the reducers would update the the states um, or the store so we re use reducer is acting as the reducer um, being used in the class based component benefits of react hooks so um i mean react hooks allows you to like uh, like break down complex components and it's sort of like very easy to understand because I, I i tried that um today uh when i was prepping for for this talk so i i quickly like um, um did the to-do list using redux and when i try to like um convert it to or rewrite it using react hooks like i was deleting so much code and there were not like a lot of abstractions with um, React hooks. So it's very, very easy to understand when you use uh, React hooks. Then the second one is classes. Uh, second benefit is of hooks is you, you might not like um, come up, you might not use classes because classes are confusing. I sort of like got um, confused with classes like for a long time because classes are sort of like 
classes in JavaScript are different from classes in other programming languages, the way, the way they, they work. So as a, as a beginner, it's, it would be nice to not, um, not think about classes when you're like trying to like uh, build your first React application. Why not just use uh, function-based um, components and React hooks to just you know, build your whole application? And also, uh, hooks are easier to work based on the example I, I gave you. They are very easy to work to work with, and also uh, very easy to to test. So rules of React hooks. You can only call hooks at the top uh, at the top level. Um, so for, for for example, looking at this image. We can see that our use state is, is called at, um, at, um, inside the, the function example. Now, if we have another function inside example, say example two, we can call a use state inside that uh, child function or inside that inner function, right? So it always has to be called at the top level of your application. Then the second one is only call hooks with um, React functions definitely you can use hooks with um, class based components or class yeah so it, it has to be used with a function based um, component so i just listed out some some resources that you can go through to like learn more about hooks even though there are like tons of um, articles and blogs to like uh, read up on on react hooks so you can just um, go through them and try to understand it more. So yeah, thank you. Um, so I, I would go right into the coding uh, session. So if you have any questions, okay. Okay, um, so Steven, Steven Olutunji has uh, one question. So it says, how does one make sure one is using version 16 of uh, React? Um, so your, when, in your package.json, uh, you can specify the version of React you, you would want to, want to use. So yeah, you can specify the version of React you use in your package.json. Um, Network is bad. I can barely hear anything. Adeboy, can you hear me now? No, it's not here. Can anyone hear me? Okay, I'm not sure. I, I yes. Think you guys yes, I can hear you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, well, okay. Breaking up at the house. Sometimes you go to the oh. room and then call back to the house. Oh, okay. Okay. If you can't hear me, just like unmute and let me know, okay? All right. Well done, Blessing. Thank you so much. Okay, so guys, please, if you have any question for Blessing, please ask now. Unmute your mic and ask your question. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'll take that as we don't have any question. Am I correct? Hi, Blessing. Okay. Hi. Yeah, good afternoon. As, okay, uh, funny enough, I I just joined, but nevertheless, if I'm not mistaken, like the, you treated the life cycle work, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I did want to know this in the okay, the three life cycle work is mounting or mounting and or things, right? No, no. Okay, so can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. So the life cycles for class based like function based components don't have life cycles, right? But class based oh, yeah, yeah. components have um, life cycles. And they are sort of like divided into like will I say three okay. or two. Like um so one 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 is like uh, during creation, there are some life cycles that that um that are called. And doing updating, there are some life cycles that are called. So, for example, during creation, you would you see your um, 
your construct your render method being called that's during creation right and then um also like um you can get derived states from props it's like a new life cycle method right so that is also called doing um creation then um for doing updating um the life cycles that, that are called doing updating like component update um components should um uh, well, should co should components update so those are like uh, most of them are not I, personally i've not used some of them like uh, like get derived state from props and the likes so so it depends on what you want to achieve with it then you have to like know when to use them or, or how to use them does that answer your question okay yeah okay but if you don't mind i don't know if you are joining this call by your system or phone i don't know I sorry i yeah i can hear you i'm joining by uh, my phone my laptop okay i i don't just know if you don't mind if you probably have a a practical view of life cycle yes yeah, sure okay yeah sure we can but the thing is i, I really want to talk about um oaks so I, I don't know how maybe if we have more time if we finish before um five o'clock so i didn't get that Hi, bless you. Okay, so yes. Meshach actually said that you should go ahead and then um, come back to Kalisi's question much later. Okay, no okay. pee, no pee then. Okay. 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 Awesome, okay. thank All you. Right. All right. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay. Um, ca can you see my VS code? Can you see my code editor? No. No, okay. no, we are Zoom. We are Zoom. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a second. Okay, how do I get this? How about now? Can you see my code editor? No, still on Zoom. Oh, you're still on Zoom. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure how to. Okay, how about now? Yeah, yes. Okay, right. okay. Okay, so this is the um this is the Redux um part of the the to do list. So let me, let me see my item. Okay. So it's it's just like a normal to do list. You type in something and then you can add um, to do, right? So I'm, I'm using um, Firebase to like um, store my to-dos and I'm fetching them from you know, Firebase. So I'll just like uh, go through the, the, the project uh, within like five minutes and then we can go into the, the React Oops aspect. Okay, so here we have a webpack that allows us to bundle our JSX to um, JavaScript. And then this is our package.json. Um, so he, um, I think I've forgotten your name. Someone asked um, how you can um, um, use the, uh, the recent version of React or the version of React that allows you to like use React hooks. So you can just update your your um, React to make use of uh, to make use of version sixteen point eight and above. 
right? Okay, so here we have our uh, index.js. So index.js has, this is the app. This is like our, our roots app. Um, and it's being wrapped around a provider which you get from React um, Redux, right? And then um, going to our app is inside the JS um, folder. And then you can see it's inside um, component, JS slash component slash app, which is this. So, so this is what is being uh, rendered. So this to do is a presentational component that takes in um, um, states values as props and also like uh, a methods as props. So all this method like delete to do handler, um, change to do handler and then submit to do handler are here, all right? So like if you want to like add it to do, it calls the add to do handler. If you want to delete, it calls the delete to do handler. And then if you are changing, um, changing your value here, it's calling the change handler, which is this. Now remember I said um, I'm using Firebase to, to store my, my to-dos. And also I, I need to find a way to like fetch my to-dos when, um, fetch my to-dos when, um, when, when the, the component renders, right? So I'm sort of like dispatching an action here that makes an API call to get all to-dos. So let's go into, um, into our actions, right? So remember I said um, I'm getting my to-dos from, from uh, Firebase. So this is, sorry, let me, okay. So this is my actions, um, actions, my action creators. So, I mean, this is, this is not like the, the default um, folder structure, but I, I sort of like, like having my, um, like se separation of concerns, let's all components be inside components and let's all actions and users be in their own, um, their own folders. So I have my actions here. And like I said, I'm making like a, an API call, a fetch call to get, to get my to-dos, right? So this is, this is what is happening here. And then here I'm adding my to-do. So my, my, I'm adding a to-do. So it's, making, it's also making like a, a post request to Firebase to store my to-do. All right, and then I'm deleting my to-do, both, um, I'm deleting my to-do, uh, making a, a, fetch, a fetch API call and all. Then, um, yeah, and then we have the reducer. So like, like we all know, reducers are the ones that like sort of like update our state. So it's, it's yeah, it sort of like updates our state. So I'm, I'm making like, um, I'm, I'm, Dispatching an action to to let user know that okay, I need to update this state with this value I'm getting. So this is our reducer. So this is an action that you know sets the to dos in the state, add to do, update the state with the new to do, and then delete to do. So this is like the you know the over, the overview of our application right now. Now to go into um, uh, React Hooks, let me, because I need to share like the second. Okay, okay. Sorry, can, I, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, we can. Yeah, I'm trying to share the the other part. Oh no, don't worry. Okay. 
Okay. So, um, what, what is the title? What title can you see here? Is this certain to do books or what can you see? Yes. Okay. Okay. Certain to do books. Okay. All right. Um, so this is like the same, like I copied almost everything that was in uh, to do with docs and I have them here. And the difference here is that if you go to our component, uh, app.j, which is like the root of our component, you can see that all the, um, it is now, is no more a class-based component, is now a function-based component. And all the methods that were here have been removed because a to-do to -do list function, function component can handle states or can manage its own state now. So now this is very, very, um, very, very um, simple and easier to understand. So if, if I go into to do, right? So my to do is like, um, it has a form. This is the form here, it has a form. And then it has a, a button that adds to do. And this one shows the list of um, to do's, right? So right now, um, I'm sure you know the two way binding of, um, of React. So if, if you are typing something here, you want to be able to like get the value of um, the text you're typing, right? So the way you would normally do it is you would, you would, um, you would create like, um, uh, you, you create like a, um, in a class-based component, you create like a, a state object and then you have like maybe text or title, you can set it to whatever, maybe empty string or null or, what, or object or whatever, right? And then if you want to like handle all the changes, you do like this or set states to handle the change. But for React hooks, um, what we'll be doing is, what we're doing is we'll, um, we'll bring in the use state Sorry. Okay. Um, so we bring in um, the use state. This is uh, okay. This is yes, yes, link error, All right? And then let's try to like because I remember I said we would always use use state at the um, top uh, level component. So if we have something like this, um, to do state equals to use state. Okay. So this is our um, use state, right? And you can initialize your use state with either a string or an object or or whatever. So let me say, let me initialize it. With, I'm just trying to like explain something here. Um, to do here, and then let's say title or something. Okay. So if you over on use it, you notice that. Um, use state always returns an array, right? And the content of the array, this is like just like a flow typing of um, um, what is being returned. So if you check this, sorry about that. If you check this, you will notice that um, this is an array, right? The first item in the array is this, which is the, the initial, um, what we initialize our states to be. Right, we have it to, to do which is string and title which is string. Yeah. Then the second um, second item in the array is the is the um, is the method that updates the the state. So instead of using this the set state, you use this method to update it. Right. So if I want to like, let me take this, but since we only, only have one item to, to change, which is um, like to do. 
So to now to now have like a two way binding, you would have something like um, to do states. Remember, I said that um, we have like two items in that array, but we want to like update the the current states, right? And to access the first item in an array, you say zero, right? Right? So this is going to like um, update the, um, our value here. So to do states. Now, if I want to set the, the, um, this dot states here, it's going to be done in the on, on change. So that, that will be, the second item in the array, right? So which is to do state one, and is a method, right? So it is a method. Okay, yeah, it's a method. Let me try and make sure I like this. Okay. So this is how it's to like, um, so like you want to access the the um, the method that would help you or that will update the state. This is how you do it. But instead of going through this um, through this um, troubles, you can just use array structuring to like um, give a name a, a name variable to your to your element in the in the array. So you can just do something like this. And then you can say to do state. And then we have like set to do state. Again, this is like more like a rules that the uh, creators of um, of um, React have set. So it's, you can name it anything, but most most of the time you find them using set because it's, it's, it's a method, right? So you can you find them using set something in um, articles or tutorials and all that. So here I can just say to do state without adding the zero. Now I can just say set to do here. Okay. So if I want to update um, state, I think it's wait. Okay, so if I, if I want to up, update um, state, I think it's something like this. Um, we have event. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, sorry. Because we're getting event from here. And then we want to like set to do state <coughs> with event dot target dot value. So this is how you use um, use state. That's instead of using the um, this dot state from class based components and using the this dot set state here, you could just update your, st your state here. So let me try to run this. This is the to do. This one is for the Redux, and this one is for. This one is for okay. So. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, use state is, uh, is is used to like do the two way binding here. Now the next one is that I want to look at is the um, use effect. Remember I said um, we are using um, Firebase. So if if you want to like create like a project using Firebase, you can just go to Firebase and then you can um, go to your console and create a project. And then now let me try and do that so that. Okay. 
Okay. So you can create a, a project and name it maybe certain to do. Continue this account, create project. Okay. Okay, continue. So to 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 view the database of your project, you click on um database and then and then go to create um database here. So I'm going to just I'm going to um, click the test mode because I, I want everyone to like have access to it or if it's public. So here is the URL that we're making our post request and I get, get requests to. So I want to like um, add a to-do list right now and I, I'm making a post request to Firebase. And like I said, we don't have like a, a life cycle method in function-based components. So we're going to use uh, what we call use effect to handle that. So, so I'm going to like um, bring in use effect here. So this is a uh, use effect. Now to use uh, use effect, um, you can call it like this. Okay, so this is sort of like acting like your component did demand where you can make your API call. So you can, well, I mean, you can use whatever um, library for your API calls, but I'll just use a um, fetch because I mean, it's faster. So you, I mean, with fetch, you put in your URL and then you would have like um, put in a URL, and then you got then the promise. Okay. So like I told you before, our URL is um, is this. So you can just copy it and then add to this, sorry. Okay. So, Let's just faster this. Let's pass the JSON. Then we have a dot then. Okay, what am I doing? Okay. So this was the JSON and then, then and then to do data. Okay, let's see how to do this here. And then let's see if we can see an error. OK. 
Okay, uh, why do I have red indentation? Okay. Okay, so if you want to like um, make um, a get um, request to get all your data, you'd use this. But let, let me try to like create like our submit handler to able to like allow us to create the, the to do. So we would have something like, I'm still going to use this fetch. But well, this is a post, so we need to like add um, the, the method for it. So have something like this. And then this is the body we are sending to. So Firebase Stringify. Let's give it time to, and then, yeah. So basically um, what we are trying to do is we're trying to like um, add uh, it to do. And then the to do is coming from this to do state. So you can just pass it down here. Indentations. Mm. Okay. So let, let's see if this one would work. Let's just comment this one out first. Okay. So this is our submit method, uh, which is being called here. And what it's doing is, is making a post request to get to post um, the to do we are trying to like um, create. So let's see if it will work here. Does it work? Syntax error token. Method not allowed. Okay. Can anyone help out? Um, so this is the method, right? Okay, wait, let me do this. To do's, okay, creating to do's, and then oh, yeah, yeah firebase.json. Oh, I think I'm missing the headers too. Okay. And that's, I'm going to copy from the other one. Okay. Okay. So let's see if and hope that this works. Okay, so so here it is, and you can see that it was created. So, because I'm trying to like create a lot, so that we would like use the use effect to get all the um, created to do lists or to dos. Okay, so now we have um, two to dos. So let's try and use the um, let's try and use use effect to to fetch all um, the to dos. 
Um, before then, we would need to like update our to-do list. Yeah, we need to update our to-do state. So, oh no, no, no. We need to like um, create another use state, uh, which is going to handle all our to-dos. So we can, we, since we know that is going to be like a list, so we can initialize it to be an array. And then you can say to do, to do list or to do array. Let's just say to do array. And set to do, set to do array. Okay. So um, right now we want to like, once, um, once our to-do is created, we would like to like update our, our array to have the current, um, to have the current um, to-do. So we were sort of like um, updating the existing data with the, create, the new created um, array. So, so um, if you see here, Let me try and create another one. Okay. But if, if you see here, um, our if we've worked with Firebase, you know that Firebase does not return um, an array. It returns like an object of object. So you need to find a way to like uh, make it into an array, right? So you could, you could assess, um, Okay, first you need to like create, um, let's say an empty array. So let's say, const, um, loaded to do's. So there's, this is where we want to like store our, um, our, our values from Firebase. And then we will update our to do array with this loaded um, to do's. So we can just like access, So we can access um, the items in our array using for in. So we can for key in um, to do data, which is this. Okay, so for key in to do data, and we sort of like want to like get each object from the bigger object and push it into this empty array, which we are going to like use to like update this to do array. So you can just say to do's array, to do's, or let to do's dot push. And then, um, yeah, dot push. And, um, we need to give it an ID because we want it to be unique. And then we, since we have title here, so we have title, and then it's, it's to do data. Key dot title. So now would use would need this to like update our sets. This one we created this method from the use state. So right now we would have our um, this this is like sort of like updating our to dos array which we are going to use to render our um to render our our list here okay i feel like i'm talking to myself <laughs> can everyone hear me yes okay. hey. yeah we can okay okay so if if you don't understand or like um i'm not saying it right please just stop me and let me know because I'm, I'm sort of like nervous doing this, so please let me know, okay? Okay. All right, thank you.
Okay, so um, so right now I want to try to like um get all the like when when your component when your component is uh, rendering, you want to like um get or maybe make a an API call to like get all to do's or get something. So so I'm going to use um use effect to fetch all the um created to do's that we've done here. So let me just do this. Um, this is a based thing. Okay, so we are making a get request and hopefully we would get our list of to do's um, data. And then once we get it, we'll also like update. Once we get it, we'll also like, um, updates the the um this are this to do array using this method so that we can use this to do array to or we can render this to do array as a list okay so let's let's see how that will go um hmm. okay so let, let me so i i put a log here to know if this is actually getting resolved. So let's oh fine, nice. Okay. So this is a list of created um um to do's. So if you check Firebase, you would see that one, two, three, four. There are four in number. One, two, three, four. So these are the to do's that we've created. So now we'll save it in the to-dos array and try and render it here, this part. So, um, okay, I think is yeah, I think it's the same thing here. But not, now that I'm thinking of it, I don't, I don't think we need a, a loop here since it's only one we are getting back. We just need to like update you just need to like update um, the method. But let's see, shall let me, let me copy this. And add this. Okay. So I don't, I don't think we need a, a loop here because we are getting just one object that's the created to do here. So we can just like, maybe add it to it or something. Okay, let me, let me comment out. Well, no, we don't need it. Well, let me comment it out first. Okay, um, so this is the just created to do data and we need to like update our states with this. So, we still need to use this to do array state. And then we would okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> um, can anyone help out? Hello. Well done, blessing. <laughs> Let's see, can anyone help out, please? Guys, can unmute your mic, suggestions for blessing, please. Steven, Kalistus, Boyega. Um, okay, maybe I would, because I don't want to, okay, I'll just copy from my previous. <laughs> I've, I've actually... I know this allowed, this allowed. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so this is add. Okay. I did it. Okay, this one is Redux. Hmm. 
I know I've done this thing before, but I forgot. <laughs> Because, um, like, when you're trying to up, um, update um, um, using a uh, new state, it doesn't really work like this is the state. Like, for example, now, this is state is like a, a big object, right? And then if you want to, like, change a particular value, you could just, like, pick this is the state dot something and update it, right? And then um, under the hood, React, like, sort of knows how to, like, merge that um that value you want to like update to the bigger state like this dot state right but in use state you have to be careful because you don't want to like override existing data with your new data right so right now i i want to like the new data i'm getting i don't want to override the existing uh to do array that like changing it to one so so yeah, that is why I'm here. Because if, if I just do set to, to do array state and then just um, add um, to, to, to do state, it's sort of like it would override what this is. So, so yeah. Um, well, can't you just like add it inside the array as an object in the array? Another object to the array. Like, is it like, sorry, let me delete this one. Mm. Okay, so this is what I want to like update, right? Okay, let's, let's do something. I know I've seen this thing somewhere. Um, okay. Okay, let me check my notes too. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, okay, uh, yeah. Previous to do's. Previous to do's. Is a function uh, oh yeah yeah okay and then it's previous to do's then you spread the footer and then <laughs> so this is an an object ID Okay, okay, yeah, to do data. Don't mean to do is it to do data don't mean? Um name which is what we're getting and we can actually just okay sorry let me, let me log this and see what is there those data oh, let's go. okay oh okay so well yeah i think i remember now what i did so wait, when you when you try to um, create like um, like like uh, when you're trying to use Firebase to like um, create a like create a to do, so in the when when the uh, when it's successful, it returns um, the created ID. 
this is the created ID, and the ID is is, is a value for uh, for a key called name. So in order for me to like get it, I'll have to like um, do this, and then get the to do to do state that is here. That's the value that we've added, and then create a, like an object with it, which would also update this. Uh, which um, I'm calling this method to update this to do's array. Okay, so yeah, I think this should work now. So then, so yeah, uh -huh. so yeah, we are um, creating an array from the um, object, and we have this. So this loaded to dos should be used here. Here. So let me comment out this. No, I'm not going to do this to do Zari. Okay. So this is just like a list. Um, it just loops through the array being passed and just like creates like a list of to dos. So let's see if this will. Food. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here we are getting all our to dos and let me try to create and here. Nice. Okay. So this is like using um use effect to make requests like it's acting like component did uh, update uh, did mount to like make requests to Firebase to get all our to dos. So yeah, this is good. Um, we can do the delete. And I think the remaining um, hook left, or the one that we could have talked about is um, use reducer. Yeah. So let, let's just do delete and see if we have time to do use, uh, use reducer. So, so yeah, um, we have our like components let me try and like component the demand. So this is what we are using as a component the demand. And this is um, what we are using as a submit method. Now you remember, now I have this on remove uh, item. So this remove my item is going to ask like the delete. So here we have once let me quickly do this. Okay, so we have content. So I'm just going to copy the delete because I've already done it. Um, okay. So. Delete to do, let me just give it a name, because delete is, so we are passing it to this um, to-do list, which is a presentational component. Um, so to-do is making requests to, to this, you can, can just create like a base, this URL. And then this is our base URL, and you can just oh, also like this. Okay. Since we uh, we don't need this. And let's see if it's still working. Shit, spotted. 
Hmm. Syntax error. Where is the error coming from? Mm -hmm. Line 73. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Okay. Uh, I have to close in. Okay, wait. Um, where's this closing? So the error is coming from this. Sorry, maybe you indent it so that we will know the exact line. Okay, okay, we'll do that. Okay. So this is it. Um, okay. I think something is, I'm missing something that is, wait. Okay, let's start from the beginning here. This is use effect. This one is closing well, All right? So, okay. So this submit is, something is happening with it. Let me do this. So, I mean, where is this one coming from? Okay. okay. I think is is good now. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Try now. Let Let's just do the delete and see how to go about that. Okay. So um, when you're making a delete with Firebase, you need the the ID of the item you want to delete. And this delete to do, I'm using it here inside this to do list. And this to do list is so I gave it a, a named variable on remove item, and then it's passing in the ID. So definitely I'm getting a to do ID here, which I'm using to make a request to the backend. So let's see if this is getting deleted. Yeah, so it's getting deleted. So, yep. Yeah, this is good. Okay. So, maybe just um, add like a success message that is deleted. <laughs> um, what's the time? Maybe I should, maybe let me try and quickly see if I can do use reducer. Um, so if you want to use, use, use reducer, you just like bring it in here. Okay. So this is use reducer. Uh, huh, do I remember how I used it again? Sorry, give me a second. Okay, so the, the use reducer um, has like um, two elements in the array and then um, one of the elements is uh, uh, basically the, you can say it's, it's like the states. Sometimes you would, 
okay, when, when you have like your, your class-based components and a particular component is managing its own state, you can move that state into um, Redux and allow a user to like um, update that particular state. So you can also like, um, like here now, you can also like allow the uh, use reducer or reducer to like um, update the state instead of us having to like update uh, to do array here. So, so yeah, um, let me bring in use uh, reducer. So the, the use reducer, like I said, has like um, two items um, in it, in the array. So, use reducer. So it has the, the maybe to do array. Let's, let me use to do array reducer. And then it has a dispatch. The dispatch method. Okay. And then Okay, let me see how I use reducer here. Okay, I'm just gonna you know, copy this, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, um, then I would just do this. And give it like um, to do reducer. Current to do. And then we have the actions. So it is almost like the reducer from um, when you, when you use um, Redux, you create like the um, action action actions, and the actions would contain um, the contain the cases that the, the type and also like the um, the item you want or the 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 item you want to like update instead so let me just create action types here Okay, so we have this to do. Let me move. Mm, it's going to do the updating here. Mm -hmm. Comment on this one first. Okay. <laughs> So we are going to pass this to do reducer to this. And then have it like this. Okay. Okay. So what next now? Oh, why do we dispatch the action? Okay, okay. Um, no, in delete. Let's see, add summit here. Okay, um, so we have 
after fetching it, we want to like um, we want to like um, update our our states using use reducer. So I think this is where we need to like um, dispatch the action. So let me try to like comment out this. This patch, okay. And then we have a type. Type add. So we would do this. To do, okay, to do's. Well, let's just say to do array. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to do array and then let's try to ID. Okay, and try to just it. <sighs> Okay. Um, sorry guys. Can you hear me? Yes, can you yes, hear me? yeah, we can. I'm, I'm so sorry that it took more than one hour and I sort of like got carried away trying to like make it work and all that. But I honestly have a meeting in the next one minute. So oh. I don't know how we would continue with this or I, are you guys going to continue with it or something? You guys already have the um, Redux application, right? Yes, I don't. Uh, I put it in the slides. So I, okay. I can push this and share with Sherry. So Sherry can share with you and maybe you guys can complete it. But I'll try and complete uh, it too. Yeah, better. Yeah. All right. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. And thank you for having me. Thank you very much. We really do appreciate Enjoy it. Uh, thanks for your time. All right, now take care of yourself. Thank you so much. Blessing you. Thanks yeah. a lot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. No, no problem at all. Thank you very much. All right, you're welcome. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye.